Welcome to the Alpha Girl Confidence Podcast, where we are empowering youth female athletes to play and live confidently. My name is Shay Hatto, and each week I will bring you new episodes to teach you the strategies and tools that you need in order to live a confident, empowered life both on and off the playing field. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. So many of the girls that I coach and talk to on social media are so unsure of how to gain the respect of their teammates as a leader and a captain. So a lot of the girls come to me ask, how can I be a leader? How can I gain the respect of my teammates without being bossy or without stepping on people's toes or without hurting anybody? And so many girls just crave the approval and crave being liked by their teammates, so they're afraid to step into their power as a leader and as a captain. And they're afraid to really put themselves out there to help the team the best that they can. And the way I see it is in society, I think that women, when they're strong-willed or they know what they want, a lot of times the word used to describe them is bossy. So girls see this and they don't want to be seen as bossy because it has such a negative connotation in our society. But the thing is, is that If you do the things right and you do what I'm about to tell you to do, your teammates aren't going to see you as bossy. They're going to see you as a leader. They're going to respect you as a teammate, as a leader, as a person, as a soccer player. So a few things that you can do to lead so that your teammates respect you. Number one, and I say this all the time, but it's to lead by example. So it doesn't matter what you say. A lot of the time, right? Actions speak way louder than words. So if you're leading by example and you're going out on the field every single day and working your butt off, your teammates are going to see that. They're going to respect that. The last thing you want to be as a leader or a captain is lazy. If you're lazy, that energy is going to be brought to the team. They're not really going to respect you, right? You have to be the hardest working player on the team. You have to be consistent. You can't be showing up late to practice. You can't be leaving practice early. You can't be not showing up to practice in general. You have to be consistent in what you do and how you do it, okay? And number two is be willing to listen, right? A lot of the times when I say, okay, what makes a great leader? Communication, right? And I say, okay, well, what does communication mean? And the first thing that girls always say is, well, like being able to talk and get your point across. And yes, that's part of it. But I think a lot of people in general forget that communication is a two-way street. So in order to be really respected on your team, you have to be willing to listen to your teammates. If you have a teammate that comes to you with a problem or just needs to talk, if you just really listen to them and really lean in and help them, they're going to respect that more than anything else. So be willing to listen, have an open mind when other people come to you with new ideas or problems or solutions that maybe are different than yours. Just be open-minded and be willing to listen to your teammates. And number three is get to know your teammates on a deep level. So the more you know your teammates, not just on the field, not just how they play, but the more you know them as people, the better you can lead them, the better you can communicate with them. Like if you have a teammate that you know doesn't handle feedback or criticism well, well, then you might need to pull them aside and talk to them one-on-one when you have a conversation with them. Whereas if you have a teammate that is really okay with getting yelled at and they're okay with um, you know, the, the public feedback, public criticism, then you know that you can handle that situation a little bit differently. But the more you know your teammates, number one, the better you're going to be able to lead them. And number two, the more that they're going to respect you because you took the time to actually get to know them not just as teammates, but as people. And number four, and I love this one, number four is fight for your team. So your team, they're they're your family. And the more you fight for them every day, you don't have to say anything. If you just show up and you fight for your team, then they're going to respect you. So what what do I mean when I say fight for your team? Honestly, just going out there and putting everything on the line every single day not holding back because you're tired, not holding back because you had a bad day, but going out there every day and fighting tooth and nail to not only win games, but make your team better. So at practice, that means fighting and competing to the highest level so that you make your team better. 
I think a lot of leaders and players in general are afraid to go 100% on their teammates or on their friends because they don't want to hurt them or they don't want to make them look bad. But the harder you play and the harder you fight, the better you make your team. So go out there and fight for them, number one, at practice, but number two in your games and give it your all because they're your family and you got to stand up for your family. Okay. So I hope those four things helped you. Just remember as a leader, you have to be okay with sometimes not being liked by everybody. No matter what position you're in, there will never be a time where everyone likes you all the time. And as a leader, you have to remember that. You want to be respected by your teammates. You want to be well-liked by your teammates. And that's great. And I think you can have respect of everyone on your team, but that doesn't mean that you're going to be well-liked by them all the time. So just be okay with that and just go out, put in the work, listen to your teammates, fight for them and get to know them. And I promise it's going to make you feel more confident as a leader and as a player in general. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please share it with a teammate, share it with a friend, share it with whoever you think could benefit. And if you need more support and want more help on how to be a good leader, this is one of the topics that we cover on our monthly confidence coaching calls, where we also bring in guest speakers who are leaders in the industry. So this is a great space for you to not only gain confidence and improve your mindset, become a better leader, but also to connect with other like-minded players along the way who are going to support you and cheer for you and have your back. All right, guys, again, if you like this episode, share it, and I will catch you on next week's episode.